What's up everyone, it's Andrew from MAO Magic and I'm here with all the cool HomeKit devices that we found at CES 2016. Now we have found a lot of items that are very similar, but we're gonna start off with a little bit different item and that is the first pair of ceiling fans to build in Apple's HomeKit. These come courtesy of Hunter fans, and these are both going to be 54 inches in diameter, and we have the Symphony and the Signal. The Symphony is going to be the white model, and the Signal will be the wooden model. They are both Wi-Fi connected and have dimmable lights inside. They're going to be both retailing for under $400. The Symphony is going to come in at $329, and the Signal at $379. They'll be available starting February 1st of this year and available at Amazon, Lowe's, Home Depot, and the company website. Next up on the list is the Honeywell Lyric. Now you may have heard of this thermostat and that's because it's been around a while and really not much has changed. It's the same old thermostat, pretty much exactly the same as the last generation model, except for now it builds in HomeKit. It'll still work with Samsung SmartThings so we didn't remove any features, but now you can control with Siri, uh, adding it into your scenes, your triggers, and just asking what temperature and to raise it up and down. It'll be coming in at $249, which is a very familiar price point, both the Nest and the competitor from Ecobi both come in at that same point. So after the Lyric, we go to iDevices. Now iDevices actually has many products coming out for HomeKit. They have four actually. They have a switch, a dimmer, an outlet, and a socket. And what's different about all of these is they're all supposed to be built into your home using your existing you know, lights and infrastructure that you already have. So you don't have to buy a bunch of fancy hue bulbs because you have the built-in sockets. So you can easily use these. They all have those programmable night lights on them. They all glow a little bit so you can find them in the night, which is really nice. And you can control that from the app as well. But now you don't have to worry about having someone flip the switch and Siri and HomeKit no longer working because we built right in. Number four on the list is a smart lock, and that's gonna be the quick set premise. We've seen lots of smart locks from different companies and new companies such as August and Lockatron, but this is one of the oldest manufacturers and they're doing a good job of bringing HomeKit to the market. It has 30 unique codes you can give out to different guests, an LED display with a capacitive touchscreen on there so you can type in your code if you don't have a Siri or HomeKit working or it doesn't automatically unlock, and it still has a standard keyhole so you can still use your key if you need to, and it works with AA batteries. It'll be available later in 2016. Coming with number five on the list is another product from iHome iHome has the new ISP5 Smart Plug. This is a very similar to the last generation model, except it's now Wi-Fi connected and works with HomeKit. You can use the iHome Control app to go ahead and control anything, but they also have a physical remote, which is kind of neat. Obviously, Hue has this with the dimmer or the tap to control the bulbs, but now if there's anything you have plugged in here and someone doesn't have HomeKit or you don't have your phone available to actually control that outlet, you can use a standard physical switch or remote as well. This will be available later in the year for around $49.99. Our sixth item on the list is a pair of sensors from Grid Connect Sense. They have two sensors, the Smart Water Sensor and the Temperature and Humidity Sensor. Now these passive sensors are not super useful immediately because you're not telling them to do something. You're not telling it to change your thermostat or unlock your door or turn off your light, but you can get alerts and trigger things. So if you have this in a temperature sensitive room, such as a basement or a greenhouse or a humidor, or cold storage, anything like that, you can actually, if the temperature hits a certain spot, you can adjust the thermostat. So you can use those triggers still and you can get notifications about water sensitivity in water sensitive areas like basements or somewhere where there's fish tanks or a laundry room. Number seven on the list is a new item or two from Lutron. Lutron has added HomeKit compatibility to their sets of shades. They have the Serena and the Savoia QS Triathlon motorized window shades. Now the Serena will is battery operated and will work with like a do-it-yourself option. So you can go ahead and install these and use the standard smart bridge with it. And then there's the Savoia, which is more of a professional installation where you'll need someone actually to come in and put it in. And that'll work with the smart bridge pro. Both of these will be shipping later this year. Now, these are a couple of really cool products that we have definitely not seen before as far as HomeKit compatibility goes, and that's the ones from First Alert. They do have a Wi-Fi thermostat, which we've seen a million times, and there's a Wi-Fi environment monitor that we've seen many times before, obviously from GridSense and Eve, but this one's pretty cool. They have a safe. 
Yes, they actually have a fireproof and waterproof safe that you can actually use Siri to unlock. It also has a built-in accelerometer, so it'll let you know if this safe has been moved since you've been gone, so you know if someone's you know, trying to run off with your safe, but it, you can actually tell your safe, like, open my safe, and it'll simply unlock for you, so you don't have to remember a passcode or anything fancy like that. And these will be available later this year. Last up on our list are a couple entrants from Elgato. Now we've seen them before and they have a couple new entrants into their EVE lineup. Now they have several different sensors here. They have switches, they have outlets, they have a water sensor, and some door and window sensors, as well as some room sensors. So a lot of these are passive. You can just say, what's the temperature in that room or what's the humidity in a room? Then you have ones that are active sensors, such as the light switch. And the light switch does have a green LED on there to denote the operating mode. And these whole EVE lineup that supports HomeKit will be available later this year. If you have any questions or if there's any HomeKit devices that I missed from CES, go ahead and throw those up in the comments. Please subscribe and check out all of our other CES 2016 videos. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.